Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy from Go Sammy Joe, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create your own custom collage for your MacBook or any device, and also how you can turn it into a digital vision board. This is how mine turned out. I don't know if you guys can see it too well, but I'll have another shot of it, and I'm really happy with it. Uh, not only is it pretty and aesthetically pleasing to look at but it also has a bunch of my goals and things I want to see in the future on it too so it just helps remind me of those every day. Okay so before we get into the video if you guys are new here please make sure to subscribe to see more videos. If you guys find this video helpful and you enjoyed it please make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. It really helps my channel out more than you know so I always appreciate it. Alright so let's get into the video. Okay so the first step that I did in this process was to make a list of all the things I wanted to include in this collage. Now you can do this just to have a fun collage or you could use this as a vision board too and include some of your goals. It's totally up to you but either way I think it's really important to write down some of the things you want before you start the process so you don't forget about them. So if you're just making a collage of things you like you want to make sure to take a moment to write those things down. Also think about what you want to look like. Do you want certain colors and make sure to get an idea of that and write that down too. Now if you want to turn this into a vision board it's important to write down your goals and then you will look for photos that embody those goals that you want to achieve. So just take a moment to sit down and write these out to get a clear idea of what you want. Okay as you can see I made two little lists so over here this is kind of like my vision board list of all the different things I want to include in this collage and then over here I kind of have the look I'm going for so I have like I want a light pink aesthetic with like um kind of like a watercolor look to it. So once you have your list down the first step that we are going to do is to go to Pinterest. This is where I found most of my images for my collage. I did also include some that I I've taken some that are more personal to me so like photos of my fiance and different places I like to go and stuff like that so feel free to use your own photos or look other places for them but I find that Pinterest has such a great uh, selection of different things and the photos are usually of really good quality so um, that's how I was able to make this look so pretty I feel like so the first thing you want to do is go to Pinterest Now, the first thing you want to do is create a board just for your vision board. You can make it private or whatever, it doesn't really matter. So, um, to do this, you just, uh, on any of these possible pins, you go down and you hit create board. I already have a vision board um, one, but I'll make a new one. So, let's see, vision board number two. <laughs> and hit create. Um, I'm just going to skip. Okay. So, and then you're just going to, you can start searching or you can like look on your home screen as well too. I'm already seeing a lot that I like because, um, so, and then you go and you'll, you should see your new board right up here. It says vision board two and you click save. It's at this time that you are going to want to look at your list and uh, get an idea of what it is that you want to look up on Pinterest. So, one of my things was that I want to manifest a really cool honeymoon. So, I, um, as you can see, I was definitely looking up places like Greece and stuff like that. So, you can just type in, so say you are looking for a photo of Greece. Just look up Greece and maybe like aesthetic. kind of want to do like a... Um, mine is going to be like a light pink aesthetic, um, so yeah, look at all these great photos here, um, save that to vision board too of some light pink aesthetics. So you're just going to go throughout your list and just start saving things until you have this big board filled with lots of different ideas that you can use in your collage. Another thing that I really like to include aside from photos were quotes that really aligned with me that also had a pop of color that kind of went with the photos. So for me it was light pink. So you can just look up whatever color you're, um, you're uh, looking to include 
and then I put quotes and it should have like a bunch of quotes that come up with like a light pink background kill them with kindness good things take time all these great things seek what sets your soul on fire I like that one so we will save that to vision board vision board 2 so once you have saved a ton of photos you just want to go over to your little profile icon and then go to where it says vision board 2 or whatever you named your board so I only saved a couple but these are the ones that I saved so once you are done with this process you want to go to another website called canva c-a-n-v-a dot com canva is great I've been even making my youtube thumbnails on them because they are so nice um, and this is the actual board, uh, or this is the actual collage that's on my, um, computer right now. So you can actually make a collage not just for your laptop, but you can do it for your phone, your iPad, all different devices, because, um, you can, you just need to look up what the dimensions are. So, this isn't just for your laptop, this can be for anything. So, you just want to look up whatever device you you have what your dimensions are for the home screen so um, for me I believe you go for a Mac you go up to the corner and about this Mac and uh, displays and it should tell you right there that that is the size for this display so um, then from there you go to create a design custom dimensions and I will just copy what it says for this Mac. Create new design. Perfect. So the first thing I like to do before starting the whole collage process is to have a background color in case there are any little spots that shine through in between your collage. It's nice to have a background there uh, so there's no empty space. So I want to look up like light pink um, background maybe, or in, that's in templates, elements maybe, or background, there we go, light, light pink background, and this is the one I used on the last one, so we'll just click that, oh wait, no that's not it, but once I clicked it, then it comes up here, and there's our light pink background, so you can use like any color if you really wanted to, oh no, I lost, I lost the pink, there we go, okay. So that is the first step. So how do we get these photos over to here? So, um, oops. So you go over to Pinterest and to your board. So let's say we want the be kind one first. So you just need to do a control right click and copy image. And then you just go over to Canva and command V or paste. Um, and it'll show up. So we have a be kind and you can see how the colors still kind of go even though it's kind of brownish. So to resize um, an image, it'll come up in a box and you can just drag it back and forth until you have the size that you like. And then if you want to crop this, like you want to be thin, you, double, you uh, just double click it and then this other box will appear and you can drag the corners however you like. Um, so I kind of like the whole box look. So I, or you know what? Maybe let's make it a rectangle. So perfect. So we have be kind. We might make this bigger. I used a lot in my other one, but this is going to just be like an example one. So I'm just going to go ahead here and add a bunch of these photos. Okay, so another thing I want to point out um, while we're doing this process is that um, you may notice that some images are on top and behind each other like how that one's hiding behind there now let's say we've got this image right here and we want it to be behind these guys so what do we do for that so you just go up to the corner where it says position and then we'll put two back or backwards if you just want it backwards and now these images are on top of it 
which I think is really nice. Okay, so here is kind of our final result. Now, if you guys were looking at the one that I actually did for my home screen, this is just an example. Um, I also, there's a lot of features that Canva has that can help you along with this too. Now, I love the whole collage thing, but the one thing I didn't like was how busy it was where my folders were. So I wanted to do something kind of plain where my folders were. So I just went over to this elements tab and you can see um, there's different elements that you can use. This might be a pro version, but um, if you really want to, you could look some up online, um, just like different color shapes and import them just the same way that we did with the photos from Pinterest. So I used this one. I think I just typed in like pink figure and I kind of made it big and put it in the corner kind of like this so that um this um and I kind of designated that as my place to put my folders so that you know it wasn't so busy in the background and stuff too and messed like with what I was um with what it looked like and stuff and it didn't mess with like me being able to read it so having like that plain background I think really helped with that and perfect or you don't necessarily have to do that you could just leave a little bit of the um, space over here exposed or you could make it like a sharp line just move these guys over and then this is where you could keep your folders and stuff like that too so totally up to you okay so i actually really like how this one turned out so this doesn't have all the goals that I want uh, in my future. That's why I have the other one. This is just an example for you guys. But it's simple. It's really pretty to look at. It kind of makes you just happy looking at it. So I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Okay, so the last step for all this is to export it. So to export this, we want to go ahead and download. Um, it says you can download the PNG. I just do JPEG because I know that's safe. Um, and we're going to go ahead and download it. Okay, and your design has been saved. Okay, so we're going to get out of the full screen here. And as you can see, this is the actual board that I made. I have a lot more quotes and a lot more photos on this one. So you're going to drag this photo to your desktop then and to get it as a screensaver uh, what I have been doing there could be an easier way to do this I go I go to I click on the photo and I go to this little arrow and I click add to photos then Then from there I go to System Preferences and Desktop and Screensaver and um, we want to um, these are all the photos on our desktop and here is the, uh, n the new one that we just added so just to change the background all I have to do is click and there we go. I actually kind of like this um, line over here. Okay, so there is our new screensaver. I think it I think it looks great. I love how um, I love all the colors and the inspiration it brings when I look at it. So that's really cool. So thank you guys so much for watching till this point in the video. Please, if you have any questions, leave them down below and make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to see more future videos. I've been making more lifestyle videos and a lot more tech and like organization kind of things lately. So hopefully we'll do more of that in the future. And if you guys decided uh, to do this, I'd love to see some of your designs. So if you guys send me your designs on Instagram at go same I'll make sure to feature them on my story. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.